What's going on, everybody? This is Broken Games HDR here. We're about to get into it. All right, y'all. So that was my wife doing my intro for me. Uh, and we're going to get right into the video. So the PlayStation State of Play for today, uh, February 25th, just happened. And uh, I think this video is going to be fairly quick because there's not much for me to say because they didn't really show us much. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about what was shown at this state of play. Um, first, Crash Bandicoot 4. This was a game that released on PlayStation 4 and I think other platforms. And it's coming with enhan enhancements to PlayStation 5. I don't care about Crash Bandicoot games anymore. You know, I play. I think I played the demo for Crash Bandicoot 4 when they had it on PS4. I think they had a demo. It wasn't, you know, connecting with me anymore. Crash Bandicoot games, I just don't care anymore. Uh, Returnal. Returnal is the, the uh, game by Housemark um, that's coming out this April. It was supposed to come out in March, I think, and they, yeah, and then then they delayed it. That game looks good. I'm I'm actually looking forward to uh, Returnal. Um, the story seems okay. The combat seems to be uh, pretty intricate. Uh, we got a combat trailer a few weeks ago. The combat looks good. Um, I like that it actually looks really challenging. That's a game I, I, I might actually live stream. I'm thinking about live streaming uh, my playthrough uh, through that game. Um, I'm excited because I you all know I like hard, challenging games, and that game looks like it might be that. Um, I do think the it being priced at $70 is a mistake, and I think it's going to hurt that game, um, and I think they need to be a lot more careful with what price they uh, they they choose for some of these games because let's be honest a lot of people are not going to buy a Returnal for $70 that that honestly should be a $50 game and it'll probably sell more and it'll probably do better so you'll you'll end up making more money at $50 than you will at 70 because more people will buy it at 50 and not a lot of people will buy it at 70 but ex we expect there to be a pretty quick price drop as they do with many games so yeah Returnal was was one of the games I actually liked and I'm interested in but of course we, we've seen plenty of of gameplay from that are already we've seen Returnal already since like you know last year next game Knockout City that's the dodgeball game we actually saw that at the Nintendo Direct not a game I really care about that looks pretty mid they do a good job at like putting the trailers together to make this game look pretty exciting and good. But in application, in the actual game, I think that game is going to be kind of trash. It's going to be kind of mid. So yeah, don't care about Knockout City. Um, Sifu. Sifu, uh, some martial arts game by an indie dev. I don't care about it. Uh, not interested. Solar Ash. Yeah, don't care about this one either. Um, and, and, and understand, it's, it's not about... Some people think it's it's that people just want AAA games all the time. No, 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 that's not it. I don't care what the budget or what the production value necessarily is in a game. The gameplay itself just has to interest me. Of course, I like, you know, top of the line graphics and, and presentation and everything like that. But there's plenty of games I love and I play that don't have that. So it's not just about, but it, it, it's at the, it's about the gameplay at the core and it has to interest me it, ha it has to be a gameplay loop that i want and the a lot of these indie games that they that they showcase a lot of these shows just don't show that to me they they don't interest me they don't excite me so solar ash another game don't care about it five nights at freddy's secure security breach i think it was i've never cared about five nights at freddy's i'm like do people really care about five nights at freddy's in 2021 they made like three or four of those games right and, and i know they had their their it had its moment in time and it had a lot of hype at, at the moment do people really care about that game now i don't know Pro some people will probably play it i don't give a damn about it odd world soul storm this is another game they've showed multiple times at different shows i don't care about odd world uh, it's not, a, I remember, I remember I played one of the games like way, way back. It's not really a game that, that really interests me or nothing, nothing about the gameplay excites me. I, I don't care about this game. Kenna, I, I got, I keep forgetting if it's Kenna or Kena. I'm pretty sure it's Kenna Bridge of Spirit, Spirits. Uh, I should have, I, I need to listen back to how the, um, the, the speaker during the show said it, but I think it's Kenna Bridge of Spirits. So we got to see more gameplay of Kenna Bridge of Spirits. I wish they would just show us the you know just some straight gameplay they they sliced it up they had some gameplay and some cinematics but this game continues to impress everybody thinks this game is going to be the sleeper hit 
uh, of this year because, oh yeah, it got a release date. Uh, it's coming out August, my birthday month, so that's great. I think that's the, that's the, it's coming out the end of August, you know, because it had, it had been delayed um, a, uh, uh, like a few months ago and they didn't give us a new release date, but now we know it's coming out in August and that's a, per that's a, that's a great time for that game. August 24th to be specific. So yeah, I look forward to that game. Great. Um, Deathloop, another game that uh, I, I look forward to. This is made by Arcane Studios, you know, Bethesda, uh, PlayStation uh, timed exclusive. I think this is PlayStation 5 only. Yeah, timed exclusive. Um, Cause you never know, You sometimes you forget with PlayStation, you, you're like, wait, is this game going on PlayStation 4 also? You know, you know how shady and PlayStation is nowadays. So yeah, Deathloop, Deathloop looks good. It looks very much, um, has some dishonored vibes in it, some dishonored uh, play style and gameplay uh, with its first person shooting. So yeah, this game looks cool. It, it looks interesting. Um, I like the presentation of it. It had like this, it had like this 007 James Bond movie trailer uh, to it. <laughs> that was pretty cool. So the gameplay, the gameplay looks good. I can't say I'm overhyped and or super excited for it, but um, the gameplay looks good. It's it's definitely a day one. Um, unless they show me something else. Um, I'm not, I, I, I have some reserves about that game. I have some reserves about it. It looks good, but I think, I I don't know. I, I think I just have one of those feelings like Deathloop could be one of those games where the, uh, the, the trailers make it look better than it actually is. I apologize for uh, the ringing in, in the background. So Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade is pretty much uh, an update DLC with Yuffie um, or Yuffie. I, I never actually was sure how to say her name, um, even in the original Final Fantasy, because a lot of these names, like when you play the original game, obviously there's no voice acting. So there's like, there's, I know there's been debates on how people say um, certain people's names or even uh, how to, how to pronounce certain things uh, in the game. Right. So I always assumed it was, it was Yuffie. I, that's all that's all I, what I always said it could be Yuffie I don't know either way um, it's gonna have some DLC uh, featuring her um, it's the the Final Fantasy Final Fantasy 7 remake is getting a PlayStation 5 upgrade it's gonna have a 4k mode it's gonna have a 60 uh, frames mode you know improved visuals lighting um, all that all that good stuff you know it's getting the ps5 treatment and it's gonna be a free upgrade for anybody who bought it on PlayStation 4. I'm not sure if the upgrade, the free upgrade includes the, the DLC with Yuffie. I'm not sure if you have to buy that separately or that comes with the game if you purchased it on PS4. I'm not sure about that. But they showed 10 games and, and, and weren't they the ones that said that, that it was gonna be 30 minutes and like they were gonna show off 10 games and they were, it was also gonna be a deep dive? I'm like, which didn't make sense to me prior to the show. How are you gonna do a deep dive on games but it's only 30 minutes? And you're going to show all these different games. That didn't make any sense to me. But there definitely weren't any like real deep dives. So out of 10 games, they they showed me four things I'm interested in, right? So that's Returnal, Deathloop, Final Fantasy VII, and Kenna Bridge of Spirits. So honestly, I, I give this show like a three or uh, a three or four out of 10. It was a pretty, it was a very mid show. It was very underwhelming. Nothing to really get excited about. Uh, a lot of in, a lot of stuff that I didn't care about. Most stuff I didn't care about. Like I said, it's not the issue of it being indie or not. It's just the fact of it being games that I'm not interested in. This year is turning out to be one of those years where there's not going to be a lot of like big uh, game releases, um, and there's going to be a lot of like game releases on a like smaller and lesser magnitude. So it's, it's turning out to be one of those years. I think. 20 I think 2019 was kind of like that right versus 2020 I feel like we got a lot of like great games a lot of like big titles uh 2019 we only got a few um and everything else was kind of like lesser and and kind of mid and you know um smaller titles and stuff like that so I think 2021 uh is turning out to be a lot more like 2019 um in, in my opinion so yeah, uh, let me know what y'all thought about the show. Like I said, I give it like a three out of ten, a four out of ten. Um, yeah, we we didn't get to see like you know stuff like Horizon or uh, um, God of War or factions, you know, 
no facts, still no Last of Us factions, Neil Druckmann. What you doing, Neil Druckmann? Where you at, Neil Druckmann? I, I, Russ, I'm, I'm going to stay on top of your head. I'm on your head top, Neil. I'm on your head top. Every single thing you tweet. You got time to tweet, but you ain't got time to announce factions. I'm on your ass, Neil. Just know that. Just know that. Where, where you at, I'm at. Where you going to be, I'm going to be. Every single thing you tweet, just know you're going to get reminded of that factions. Just know that. So yeah, there's there's a even there there were, weren't any surprises either. There were like no surprises, um, no surprise announcements. Everybody, you know, you you know these PlayStation dudes. Oh, Silent Hill is coming. No, it's not. Shut up. You know, you know uh, all these insiders and stuff like that, uh, rumors and and leaks and all. I'm like, one these these shows always prove these insiders are not insiders. If anything, they're outsiders because they're they're outside of of the loop they they know nothing they're not on the inside of anything they're not on the inside of pussy they're not on the inside of the gaming industry they're not on they're not in the know they they know nothing they're outside okay nothing in their life is inside they're always they're they're homeless okay they're hobos okay they they they're just outside going where the wind blows them that's what these dudes are anyway uh yeah let me know what y'all think about this hit the like button hit the notification bell uh, hit the join button to support the channel. Check out the Weapon Wheel Patreon. Definitely check out Weapon Wheel this week because that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be good. And um, yeah, hit the like button if I didn't say that. Hit the notification bell. All, you know, y'all know all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter if you're not. I'll check y'all on the next video. I'm out. Peace.